section. Okay, and tell me, so you are part of the skills program, right? Yes, sir. What were you doing before that? I was a waitress. In town? Yes, in town. At the Arabella North of St. Quinn. Oh. <laughs> I wanted to do so many things. Yeah. Um, I wanted to be um, a social worker because mm -hmm. I love working with kids and helping them solving their problems. Um, and I also wanted to be a journalist because I love working in different stories, like finding out what people are up to. And I think stories about drug abuse. Yeah. Big problem. Yeah. It's a big problem because it goes with so many things. What else? What else? Um, HIV and AIDS. That's another one. I'm, I'm implementing in this orphanage. It's it's boys. It's a boys' orphanage from the age 12 up until 19. Um, I started implementing last week, Friday, and they're very difficult to work with because some of them are, have been street kids before. Some of them have, have used drugs. Some so it's, it's and most of them are coloured. So it's it's they're swearing at me while I'm while I'm implementing at them. They throwing pun punches at, at at each other. They like they're disturbing me, so I can't do my work exactly. So some of my colleagues they were telling me to quit, and I said that I'm not gonna quit. That's I'm gonna finish the program with them. How long is the program? It's it's eight weeks. And where were you doing football with them? No, 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 it's the skill score. Right? The skill score. Oh, okay, and you're doing it with yes. these guys. Where? In, in uh, Kailicha, in East Section, right where I live. Oh, it's next to my house. Yes. I can do it. I think I can. So, yeah, so you handled the, the guys pretty good, huh? <laughs> yes, I did, because they were telling me to quit, all of them. <laughs> no one was encouraging me or anything. They were just telling me to quit because maybe I'm going to go mad. Or I don't think so. Those are kids, they just need my advice. And what are you actually doing with them? What, what, what are you training them? Or I'm doing the skills call with them, the eight practices. And what does that involve? It, 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 um, I teach them about HIV and AIDS, mm -hmm. and more likely about teenage pregnancy and sex. Yes, it's about that. So how do they take um, talking about sex from a woman? <laughs> um, first of all, there's a, there's, there's a chat. There are two chats that we normally write at um, the wall first. The first one is a skills trials contract. It's written respect, play, and coach. So when I asked them about respect, they were like, they gave me a lot of different answers. It's like respect, they don't know what that is. So it's, it's a challenge, it's a big challenge. Okay, growing up in, 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 in the townships and watching TV all the time, um, I would say the one reporting, or like maybe matters like there's maybe um, fire in Joslovo, you know, Langa in Joslovo, where it's always burning all the time. You know, so I'd have to be there and give back, report from my paper or something, whatever, whatever organization I'm working for at the time. I would want them to see, of course, um, people bouncing back, like people like maybe if somebody has had, had HIV and, and it got to a point where they had um, full blown AIDS and that they bounce back and they, they are well again. They, they're back to work, they're doing whatever they were doing in the first place. Tell me about your home environment, where you live. I live in Kalicha with my sister, my older sister. She's about 40 years old. Um, I'm the third one. My other sister is in Joburg. She lives in Soweto and there's my brother. My parents died when I was... My mom died when I was 16 years old and my dad, I think, was about 11. Because it's, it's, it's something that I've always wanted. It's it just... I believe it, 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 it was brought to me for a reason. That's what I believe, I think. Because it's something I've always wanted to do.